<laughs> okay, so this is Vince from Listings to Leads, and I know that we're uh, we're going to record this so that other agents can use this. This is going to be about the rollout of list Listings to Leads in terms of marketing, uh, marketing automation, lead generation, generating buyer leads, seller leads, and referrals. Okay, so this is our homepage, and and you'll get a user ID and password. I want to point out that you want to log in up here on the top right where it says login on top. You don't want to create a trial because the office has already set this up um, and you'll just sort of create some issues for yourself if you go that way. Go up here and, and, and uh, work inside the account. And when you get inside, uh, I'm actually here at, at the looking at the agents, uh, but I want, to, I want to show you what to be thinking about in terms of the listings, okay? And I'm going to go through all the tools and show you at a high level what these things look like, what are the most important tools to be thinking of, and then I'm going to also um, dive in a little bit on some key points. Seller lead registration um, or generation is very important. Facebook is taking a big uh, 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 surprise. It's, it's being very powerful today. So when you log in, you're going to log in and see an agent desktop button in the top center. And you'll have a profile page. I recommend you go to your profile page uh, and you check your social networking things. If you've got your own YouTube account associated to your profile page, certainly make sure your phone numbers and things like that are correct. And then after that, you can come to the listings page and your listings will be here. Okay. Now, you'll notice that you've got addresses, your price, your listing date. But over here are really the tools that you can use and the tools that you need to really be familiar with. So the first buttons, and this first listing here, the first one I wanna point out is, let's click the Edit Enhanced Listing. If you can't see it, it's got a wrench and a screwdriver on it, but it's a blue, light blue button. And here you can kind of see, where, over here you can edit your photos, you can add an open house uh, time, the photos are here already. You can change your property description, you can change your bedrooms and things like that, and you can save it, right? Um, and I'm gonna mute you guys because I'm getting a little bit of background noise, but there is a chat panel. Ah, there. Uh, <laughs> and on that chat panel, if you got questions, just put them in, okay? And put them in the chat panel. Um, or I'll just take a break every few minutes so that if you do have questions, you can reach the chat panel, I'll, I'll help you out. So that first button there is the edit enhanced listings and that's really important uh, if you need to make an edit. Now a lot of edits go through the MLS, you make a change in the MLS, it'll show up in our system the next day. Um, so with that, that's how you'll sort of manage your, your tools there or manage your listing and edit it. But I want to point out these two red buttons here and these two blue buttons. And these are the single property website and the virtual tour and the e-flyers and the social media or Facebook tools. These are the top tools for getting traffic, visibility, and leads, specifically buyer leads. Okay? So I'm going to click on the single property website. And you just click on the red button and it pulls up your your tool. So every listing automatically gets a single property website. It'll actually be emailed to you automatically as a hyperlink. And if you have um, uh, strategies that in your own business you're trying to work on social media, things like Facebook, Google, Pinterest, you can see right over here on the left, you can share these things, right? So these tools are shareable. And what's important is that our tools are obviously very, they're, they're designed to capture leads for you. So let's just talk about the components. There's the address, here's the photos, this is the virtual tour, um, here's the information, your banner, contact you via email, your phone number. Um, and then there's usually, or many times, there's some kind of red banner of what is the status of this home. And that's a really important piece of listings to leads is we feel that your home is able to be marketed multiple times, not just when it hits the market, right? And so some of those statuses are things like coming soon, just listed, open house, uh, 
maybe price reduced under contract acting active, active contingent excuse me it's early and also just sold okay so the same home you could be marketing multiple times at different events right now I think if I say that to you and you hear that it's like that sounds like a mouthful and it sounds like a lot of work the nice thing is that we've automated that you're gonna get the tools and we want to make sure you know what to do when you get the tool uh, one more thing about the the tools here we have lead generation links on the side right so they can follow this home this will actually pop up automatically they can schedule a showing they can email you but let's just imagine that this home is for sale in Summit and they don't want this home, right? Maybe it's two stories and they have bad knees or the kitchen's not right or who knows. But over here on the left, they can click on Summit Homes for Sale and be driven off of their site, off of your ad to your website where they can now be seeing homes for sale in Summit, right? And that's a really great thing of, of finding more buyers because you're not, uh, if they don't want your home, in most marketing and advertising and real estate, you just sort of lose it, right? So this is the single property website. We want to make sure that if you're doing uh, the basic social networking like Pinterest and Google and things like that, this is a really good tool to start with. It's got all the information, it's got lead capture, and that's it. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to jump back to our, uh, our page and I'm going to talk about the virtual tour. So the virtual tour is auto-generated. We click on the red button again. And it's auto-generated to uh, so that you can use it. So you'll actually see the virtual tours in here. But just like the single property website, we, we email you a hyperlink to the virtual tour like right off the bat, right? Right, as soon as it, as it hits the system. But if you click this button here, you can also access your virtual tours. And I want to point out the branded large format and the auto virtual tour is pretty good as well but let's look at the branded large format just for this call and, and you should look at all these virtual tours um, we're actually going to be upgrading the virtual tours to their full page very soon but uh, what it does is it sco you know it scrolls through it pans and zooms the photos that come in from the MLS so you don't have to do anything to create this it's auto generated your contact info is here and also those lead generation links that lead off to your website are also right there in the virtual tour. So you can share this if you want to be sharing those kinds of things to social networking and some of them, uh, a lot of folks like to do that. But the most important thing that you want to do is you want to get that virtual tour by copying the hyperlink and I'll click this one more time. It shows you the various versions and over here to the right is a copy button. Copy one of those and put it inside of your system, Cobo Banker Moves, and they will syndicate it out to a multiple uh, numbers of, of websites. And I want to show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is uh, this is not a Cobo Banker office, but this is one of our clients who's on uh, whose listings automatically go to Trulia, right? They automatically go to Trulia, Zillow, uh, and 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 a number of other sites, and typically that's interesting or it's not interesting for the agent. The agent in this case is Bob Sink over to the right. He's the second guy there. You can't quite see him, but I can tell you there are three other real estate agents there. All of those uh, boxes are checked and three of the other agents say pro. So while this listing is on Trulia, it's not really specifically designed to capture a lead for Bob who is the listing agent. So what he does and what we want you to do by putting your listings in, in CV moves is that he'll physically take his virtual tour and put it inside of his Truly account. You just got to put it in one place and it'll syndicate out. And then there's a little link here for the virtual tour. And this is similar to your virtual tours that are now automatically created. And you'll, you'll wait a second. This runs a little bit slow because I've got GoToMeeting and, and recording software going. And um, But here is the nature, right? Here is a, a, a virtual tour scrolling through the home. I can contact you here. Or I can say, you know what, I don't, I, I, I don't want that home. Let's click one of these links and get out and get into your website, right? And that's what a lot of agents like to do. They want to take their, that, you know, they want to benefit from the traffic on Realtor.com, on Zillow, on Trulia, on the other big websites that we know about and hear about, and get the traffic back to us instead of leaving it to be sold as a lead to another agent somewhere else. Okay, so that's, let's go back to the dashboard 
and hopefully I'll get back without uh, uh, without taking too long. Um, so those are two of the first two tools, and those are really designed to generate buyers, okay? And, but there are also, and we'll kind of move over to the right, uh, there's YouTube. And so I mentioned that um, you should go to your profile and associate your own YouTube channel. Uh, these are gonna go up to Coldwell Banker uh, uh, channels on YouTube. And so they can also go to yours. They can go to the office channel and to your own personal channel as well. Um, you don't have to, but if, you want, if you're into YouTube, it's, you, you can associate it on your profile. I want to point out, because you're not going to know what these... A, a lot of people will log in, and they will start checking boxes. And these don't check. They're either black or green. Uh, and they'll just sort of go, oh, yeah, I want to check this, right? Because they don't actually know what's going on here. So I'm going to explain to you what's going on when you check those boxes. And what goes on is actually nothing. It is just a placeholder for you to know that you have completed that task. When YouTube goes up, when that virtual tour goes up to YouTube, that green button turns black. When the e-flyer goes out, which is the next button on the Facebook, when that goes out, the green, the, the green button goes black automatically. So these are things and I'm not sure, guys, my screen is kind of jumping around. I'm not exactly sure why that's happening, but I'm sorry about that. Every time I check a box, it pushes, so I won't do that anymore. Um, the, uh, it, so that's how you know what you've done. Because you know you've got a million things going on. The phone rings, you're doing something, you forget. Check the box when you're done, and you're kind of, that, that's sort of the, the, uh, uh, the reason why those boxes and green boxes are there. So I'm going to open up uh, the mics because we just talked about the single property website, the virtual tour, the profile, and YouTube. Are there any questions for anybody out there right now? We're good. The, the virtual tour is going to go on Coldwell Banker Moves. You guys can talk about that a little bit later. Share your single property website to uh, the social networks. You'll get it inside your email automatically as soon as the listing hits. So now we're going to talk about the two blue buttons, which are the e-flyers and the Facebook ads. And those are, are specifically designed to, ge to generate buyers, but also generate uh, referrals. Okay, so when we talk about referrals, and when you think about referrals, I think that what typically happens is you sell somebody's home, and that's awesome, and you leave some cards behind and say, hey, if you know anybody that needs help, please, you know, give them my card, share my name, right? And that's great, and that's typically what real estate agents do, but we actually build an automated way of communicating these, list, these listings and getting it to your clients, friends, and family. So let's talk about that, and let's click the e-flyer button to jump into that. So there's a button up here that says generate referrals. And I'll show you that button real quickly. This is actually the best thing you could do. You click in there, and it shows you all the tools that are going to go out. I'm actually going to show those tools to you on this call in just a minute here. But what this does is you can say, hey, I want to check this box for a seller marketing report. I want a traffic report to go out every seven days. And I want, I want it to go to my seller, and I'm going to put in their email address and put in Dear John. Okay? And I'm going to save. And at that point all of these tools start flowing out. So let's talk about the tools so that you know what's actually happening here. By default, these tools are gonna to go to you, the real estate agent, and you're gonna forward them on. And if you've got more than a couple listings, you're gonna start seeing a bunch of tools coming at you and you're gonna get busy and you're gonna to forget to, go to send them. And that's why sending them through the green button on generate referrals is just like really a smart thing to do. So. This is the just listed flyer, and, the, and this listing I pulled in is a, is a fake listing, but this gives you an idea of what these tools look like. So, as I said, there's a different, the, what we want to do is take the listing and mar market it multiple times. We want to market it via e-flyers, and I'll show you why in just a second here, and we want to market it via Facebook. So, here is a property that's just listed, it's got your banner, it's got your contact information, it's got all these lead generation links on the left-hand side. And then, of course, it has the home, right, and the property description. And that's, and that's what you want. And I'm going to close this, if you just click right outside of it. Um, 
I'm going to check this put, to put in the date so that I know that it's going. And I'm going to click send. Okay. And what that does is that sends the just listed ETH wire. And you're going to see it's going to my email address because I swapped out my email for this call so that we can look at these things together. Um, and so it sends out the ETH wire and it sends out the corresponding Facebook ad. Okay. Now I'm also going to send myself the seller marketing report. And I'm going to click the magnifying glass again to look at it. And the seller marketing report will typically have your banner on it. It's going to have a few pictures of the home and it's saying this home is being marketed. Okay. And this is designed to go directly to the seller. And it says we're doing all these things, mobile, web, email, Facebook. Um, we're doing Craigslist and, and even YouTube will be up there once that's going. And it says, and this is, we're doing all this to market your home and your, your logo should be here as well. We had to change some things out real quick, but that's what this does. It, it's basically a robust, wordy, graphical tool for you to get in front of your sellers to let them know right off the bat, we're doing a ton of work on the internet to market your home. Okay. So that's going to come out automatically, but because we're on the phone here, I want to send it to myself right now. So I'm going to click send. And as you can see, the little pop up up here, it's going to me in my email. So I'm going to jump over to my email and tell you why and show you why basically these tools are, are so interesting and so important to your business, right? So when I, when I click this and I open it up, Remember how I said we, we send these tools to you automatically? So here are a couple of key links. Your listed, your just listed eFlyer, your single property website, and your virtual tour. And remember, we were just talking a couple minutes ago, or I was just talking about these tools, right? And it says here, here's your, you know, here's your home. And, and so you want this, again, to get out to your seller. This is going to you, but we're giving you instructions on what to do with it. Okay. Um, and then the other part is down here. So remember I said, here is the just listed flyer. And I'm going to open that. And here's the key of what and why we do what we do with these flyers in Facebook. Okay. Because it, I don't know how long you've all been in real estate, but there have been e-flyers for as long as you've been in real estate. The problem is those e-flyers are nothing more than a branding exercise. They're not a lead generation exercise. So there is a message right here, pre-written, talking about you and your office. We've hired Ava Kaskell at Coldwell Banker Summit to sell our home. This is one of the tools to ex increase exposure. We'd, uh, we'd appreciate it if you could forward it to as many people as possible to help us sell our home faster. So this message is pre-written, designed to go from your seller to your seller's friends and family and be talking about you as soon as the home is listing, okay? And you can see it's just listed and you can see there's you and there's all these links back to your website, all for lead capture. And that's really the value of what we're doing. You don't have to work on it. You just gotta, at the very minimum, forward this and secondly, call them, right? And that's because just like you, your clients are getting tons of spam and email every day. If they receive this automatically and you don't call them, they're not going to know what this is. But it's designed to be shared to their friends and family. So this is the e-flyer and it's one of many for every listing. And over here is a social media post. Okay, now we've actually got a serious thing going on on Facebook. We've got a call tomorrow. I know that uh, Rob and Scott have the invite and hopefully many of you will attend that and listen, but I'm going to kind of dive into that a little bit, but this is the flyer that is meant to go out to your client. And basically what it's saying is your ad's going to look like this and please copy this information and put it on Facebook on your own account, not the real estate agent account on your seller's account. Now, not all of your sellers have Facebook and I understand, but this is what it looks like. And here's the value again. It's, it's saying our home is for sale and we're working with Ava from Coldwell Banker. Okay, so all the instructions are, and I'm gonna go to our little listings to leads page here. We're asking a seller to put this on their wall like this. Okay, and when they do that, it's gonna pull up a picture and they can choose the picture that they want and they can click 
uh, post. Now I'm gonna post it and you're gonna see that right here, the message is already written. It's talking about you, okay? It's talking about you and your office. And in this case, it's talking about the home is for sale. There's also another flyer that here's our open house Here's another one. Here is our, um, um, how do you call it, uh, virtual tour. Here we are again under contract. And every time it's saying, as, as the process goes on, it's saying, you know, we're under contract, but Ava still feels like we need to market our home. And we agree, so please share this, right? Now, here's the thing about Facebook, whether you're on Facebook or not. It's the number two website in the country. And that is because people waste hours every day on this website. And they do it by clicking right here on the home page, and this is always risky because I never know what's up there from friends and family, but, and they go here and they look at this information, right? And they're looking at news and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And there is your tool popping right up on, uh, on Facebook, right? And that's kind of the key, is we want to get that number two Facebook website with traffic all day long and get your name in it in front of your clients, friends, and family multiple times. You cannot do that if you do that by hand, right? But if you go here and you click this e-flyer button and you start checking through and sending all these tools automatically, well, they are designed to go to Facebook and they're designed to talk about you every time. So I'm going to show you a couple of these tools and I'll send and I'll change the status on one of them. But you know, we've got a, a single property website eFlyer. Again, it's just listed. The That red bar will change as the status changes. Um, we've also got, I will send, uh, I'll, I'll, set, I'll set up an open house. So let's go over here. And the open house tools, whether it's your listing or not, you can hold an open house. So if you're holding an open house for another agent, pull the listing in your account and and, and host it because when you do it, I'm going to show you right now what happens with these tools. And these tools are really powerful. You just set the date, you set the time, and make sure the time ends in the same day because this is PM and this should be PM. And when you save it, a bunch of tools automatically shoot out to you. They just show up in your mailbox, okay? And what's going to happen at that point, and notice these tools here have turned black. That means that they've gone out all automatically. And remember how I was saying they're either green or black or you check the box or not. So I'm going to click this e-flyer button again. And I'm going to scroll down to the open house flyer. And when I look at it, it's a different looking flyer. Okay. And we want it to be different looking because we don't want your clients and we don't want people in general to see your ad looking the same over and over and over. It's still designed to capture leads for you in every way. They can follow this home, they can contact you, they can get to your website, but it's a different kind of look because it's a different event and, and that's the key. We automate that so that it looks different and that it's, it's reaching out to consumers at different points. So you can send that to yourself. I'll, I'll send it to myself real quickly. And we'll look at it uh, in the email again. And then uh, I'll do one more thing. So that's open house. I'm going to change the status here to just sold. And we're moving fast. Obviously, things don't sell that fast. But I just want to show you what these things look like, right? Um, and once I do, once I change that status to just sold, new tools should start getting emailed to me. So let's go over here and see if I've got anything new. Uh, and I don't, and that's great. Uh, let's see what this is. Yeah, this is the one that just came in. Let's see if I got new mail yet. Not yet. So we'll go back here and we'll pull it up. So when I said that we uh, were going just sold, give me a second, guys. I lost my place. Um, just sold is just that it's got a big red banner on it, right? Um, there's a flyer and, and, uh, I'm going to open this up right now. And then this is the Facebook tool, right? So, and here's kind of the message. And this is again, congratulating you, 
Our home is just sold. We want to recommend Ava Pascal and for doing an excellent job. Call her here or, or email her. See, you can't do that. I mean, it, you could write that personally and say, hey, you know, seller, I just sold your home. Would you, would you, you know, put out a shout out for me? Yeah, you could do that for every one of your homes. Or you can just set up the automation and it's going to start happening automatically for you, right? That is the Facebook ad. There, as I mentioned, there are hundreds of people that are following your friends and your clients' friends and family. And so you want them to see these tools, right? Here's the flyer. Again, it's going to go out via email just in case some of those folks don't use Facebook. And they're going to see this and they're going to contact you and they're going to be able to go here. So that is, I know, kind of a new concept for a lot of folks. We're going to actually leverage our, our client's sphere of influence. We heard about it in Real Estate 101, but we actually don't really have a good way of doing it until we start using these tools. Okay, So I'm going to point out to you what's happening in terms of the results of that. And we actually have a call, I think it's tomorrow, or it might be today, it's tomorrow, where um, an agent who's part of a small office had five listings, used all those tools that I just showed you, and, and was boosting them with Facebook advertising. Okay, And in, I think in 30 days, generated 200, more than 200 leads. Okay. And why? Because she can, and you can, take these tools and use the different statuses. Because I, if you're watching Facebook at all, you're going to see agents using property valuation forms. And it says something like, what is your summit home worth? And they're able to, and, and a lot of our clients do that. And there's a few other companies that do that. And that's great because you can actually zero down on Facebook and say, hey, if you're in my zip code, I want you to see my page, okay? And that's the whole key of the power of Facebook is that you can say, oh, you know what? I've, here's my page, it's on Summit, it's on Short Hills, and it's just designed to capture seller leads, and, that, and I wanna do that, right? And I, and I wanna put that, everybody in that zip code, I wanna see it. That costs just a couple bucks a day, 10, 20, but this client who is using all of the tools that I'm showing you is actually putting like $5 a day or things like that. Why? Because she just doesn't want to tell people she can, she can give you your home value. She wants to say, I've got a home coming soon. I've got an open house. I've got a home under contract and I've got a home pending and now I've just sold the home. And she's swapping out the pictures and she's looking like a dynamo in her zip code on Facebook. Now. When you think about how you're going to create your presence in the zip code where you want to grow your business, short of knocking on every door, the only thing I can imagine you're thinking of doing is print work, right? I'm going to print some postcards, I'm going to print some flyers, I'm going to do some door knocking, and I'm going to go you know, join the PTA. I don't know. But what I'm going to tell you is that Facebook is the number two website in this country and people are there every day, and you now have a system to say, hey, I'm holding open houses, I've got virtual tours, I've got homes under contract, and I've sold homes, and I can tell your home value. I've got all kinds of tools that for a few dollars can get in front of everybody in your zip code. I hope you understand that, and I'm gonna open that up to questions, and then we're gonna talk about what that seller landing page looks like to get those seller leads. So. I've been rattling on for 30 minutes here, and uh, I'm going to open this up. If anybody has any questions right now, please uh, let me know. That sounds like it's pretty clear so far. So let's talk a little bit. Let's dive a little bit into seller lead registration, because you talked about how to get buyers right and we've talked about how to get referrals so how can we get sellers and this is all part of the system so let me go to it oh I gotta mute you I gotta I gotta mute uh, this office here there we go so when you log into your account you've got this board you've got this navigation bar up on the top and 
you can click on landing pages. And landing pages, we have a series of landing pages. You can see them right here. Property valuation, what is your home worth, FISBOs, expireds, free list of foreclosures, condos, all kinds of niches, right? And some of those I highly recommend. So what do you do when you get here, right? And if I click in here, I'm going to click on property valuation real quick, and let's see if we've got anything here. Um, we've actually got some already created, okay? So I see one here for Berkeley Heights. And let's click here to see that landing page. And it looks like this. It just by default looks like this. It's got a picture of the background and uh, that, that we put in as a default. I'll show you where to change that. Um, but what you do, and you can't see it, but up at the top of my web browser is a URL, okay, a web address. You take that URL, and the number one thing, if you want to generate listing leads, is you take it to Facebook, you put it on your business page, and you boost it for $20 a day for maybe three days. Many of our clients, just with this one action I am describing right now, can generate somewhere from 20 to 50 listing leads in three days for $20 a day, okay? Um, and so this is a very powerful tool. If you're on Facebook and you're watching, you're probably seeing competitors doing this right now, okay? There are a handful of companies that have this technology and we're one of them. So let's imagine that we go to this landing page dashboard for the first time, okay? And we don't know I don't have those tools. I don't have that Berkeley Heights there. What do you do? You choose the city where you wanted to take the strategy. And let's just say it's going to be Summit City. And you type it in there. And you spell it correctly. And you capitalize it correctly. And you click Save. Okay? And the page is going to kind of whip around and says, Okay, we've created a series for you successfully. What does that mean? Well, that means that you now have a Summit City page for every one of these strategies. So let's go and look at some of these. Here's a FISBO. There's Summit City. Let's see the landing page. The landing page looks like this. Hey, you're selling your home. Your marketing doesn't have to suffer. Would you like a virtual tour or this or that? Check the box and click next and give me your contact info. Why would you do that? Because I think the average FISBO holds their home for two to three months and then they hand it to a real estate agent. And if you're the real estate agent giving them value for advertising, you would very likely be that. You can find FISBOs on Craigslist and Zillow, and now you've got a, a tool to get in front of those folks. What else do we have on this landing page dashboard? Well, we have also something for expireds. Now, I don't know how big your market is, but I'm pretty sure that expireds occur every, every month. And there's a lot of real estate agents who are just banging the phones, calling those people, seeing that home is gonna go expired, and they're trying to pull that listing, right? And that's great. But what person who's had their home for sale for three months wants to talk to a bunch of agents right now? Maybe they just want to get a little more information and you can get something like this in front of them, a, a very simple questionnaire, and start a dialogue, right? So there are tools for expires, there are tools for FISBOs, and there are also tools for just straight what is your home worth. And we looked at it and I'm going to show you it one more time. And... Here's our Summit City one, and as I said, the default by C landing page is there's kind of a suburban neighborhood. Now, I, I, don't, I don't know your neighborhood that well, and so this picture may not really fit, right? And, the, and you want that picture to fit the area where you're working. So a good background picture might be a neighborhood shot like this. It might be a landmark like a park or something in the town center. Uh, it might be a Google map, right? Here's, let's do a Google map and see the, the map of the town. Everybody's going to go, oh, yeah, that's my town. And, and you can do that, okay? So let's go over here where we clicked on see landing page. Let's instead click on edit landing page, okay? And on edit landing page, you can see here's your default image. And then it says, hey, if you'd like to um, put a different landing page, it has to be 1900 pixels wide. That's a pretty wide picture, okay? So I'm gonna dive into this because this is a little bit of, um, this is something that you're gonna wanna do. If you, if you want listing leads, you definitely wanna do this. I'm hoping, let's see how big this is. 
That's too big. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna upload this anyway, and let's see if that works. That might be too big, um, but you get a picture that's 1,900 pixels wide, and then you save it at the bottom. And when you save it at the bottom, let's see what if it'll even do it because it's that was about that was very big. Oh, it looks like it's happening. So I'm gonna go refresh this, and this uh, this is probably something of the desert. It's probably less coherent than than. What we, yeah, this is a different picture. So uh, it's less relevant than the first one. However, you can at least see how you can change your own photos. Okay. Um, and I also want to point out the different versions of this ad. So the way that this works is that you can, you can put in an address, right? And let's say 123 Main, uh, Main Street. I wish I could pull up something over in your area. So that you can see it but it works the same across the country when you put in the address and you click go it takes you to a page where a google map is going to show you the home and it's going to say we have the valuation uh it's not generic we don't use third-party data and please put in your information and get a free report on how to increase your value right so over on the right is going to actually be the picture of uh the consumer's home and then they can put in their their email and contact information here. So let's talk about what we just looked at and, and the kind of leads that you get. The lead that you get from the first page is just the address. The lead that you get from this page is the email. And some people will get to this page and you can imagine, we'll just say, oh, I don't want to give up my email. I don't want to get spammed, right? So what you'll end up with is just an address. Now, for a lot of real estate agents, they are very happy just to have that address because they might be able to, they have other databases and resources to find the, the owners. They can do a drop off and drop off a little packet. But, and, and that's, there are kind of different kinds of agents, right? This is a one page version and I'm gonna click on this little chain link. Oh, I, I hit the wrong button there. There we go. And this is the same ad, but you can see that the form there is a little bit different. So if I put in an address and I click send, it's not going to go anywhere unless I have an email. So if you really require an email, use that version. Okay. Now, when we edit this page somewhere up here, phone required. So I can say, yeah, I want to require that phone. So when some people see this, they got to give me the phone number. So let's talk a little bit about lead generation. It might be obvious. But if you choose to require phone numbers, you're going to get very few leads. If you choose to require an email, you're going to get few. Uh, you're going to get more leads, but you're going to get more leads by just asking for just an address. But it's your your decision. You've got multiple tools here to get listing leads. The number one place to put this is on Facebook. All right. Um, there is Google Pay per click. There is uh, Bing and Yahoo Pay per click. You can take the URL, the web address for this page, and put it on a postcard and put it on an e-flyer, right? And do drop off, door knocking, all this and that. The response in terms of the amount of leads you get for the money and the time you put, I do not know of a better place to get those leads in the volume regarding your time and ROI than Facebook pay-per-click advertising, okay? I'm, I'm stating that very clearly because we have clients all over the country and they are using all these, but they are seeing the best results from Facebook. That's why we're having webinars on this over and over. And that's why I'm stressing it to you right now. Whether you like Facebook or not, if you're interested in getting listing leads in a high volume for a low amount of money and a low amount of your time, that is the best place to do it. You take a tool like this under your landing page and you create it where you want to go. And I'm going to give you a couple more tips here because I am going to point you to the instructions where you can actually see this, okay, for yourself. Because obviously, you'll get into this and you'll see things that you won't remember this call and you may not, uh, you may just not remember. Um, first of all, to understand Facebook advertising, there is a place inside your account where you can see it on the homepage. But I'm going to point you to the tutorials right now. And I would just go to our support center and in this search box, type in Facebook. Now, some of you may know this, uh, how to use Facebook advertising. Uh, and if you do, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, if you don't, 
we have instructions on it right here, okay? And this is actually done by one of our clients. They sh she shows it very simply what the back end of Facebook looks like. She's using all the tools here, Fizbo's, single property websites, all these things. Again, this is an entirely different person than the one we're having, uh, you know, talking about on, on our webinar on Thursday. Um, but she shows you inside this video what, what it looks like and what to think of. One thing I want to point out, because in, in a lot of people, when you listen to uh, technology people talk about using tools, they will tell you, be ready for mobile. And I'm definitely going to tell you, be ready for mobile. Okay? Our, all of our tools work on mobile. Your competitors in the field who are trying to get listings are not out mobile optimized, but all of our tools are. This tool, for instance, is mobile optimized. And Facebook will give you the option, and this is what I want you to understand. They give you three options when you say, I want to advertise this. They can say, do you want it in the news feed? Do you want it mobile enabled? And do, or do you want it on the sidebar where the little ads are on the side? So here's the answer. You want it in the news feed only. You don't want it on the sidebar because very few people look there. And you don't want it optimized for mobile because even though it does work on mobile, it's kind of like if you give this page to five people on a smartphone and you give this page to five people on a desktop, more people will fill it out on a desktop just because it is easy, right? While it does work on mobile, a lot of people go, oh, I don't want to do this right now on my phone, yeah. And they won't. And you're paying for clicks when you do this. So you want to get the most amount of leads for every click. And that's why I'm just telling you, don't do it on mobile, okay? It's a little bit of minutia there on the Facebook tool, but Facebook is re really important. There are a lot of people there. There is no place where you can dominate a zip code in what you're doing uh, it, it, other than that, right? Now, when we go back to our tools and we talk about our virtual tour, yeah, you're gonna be effective on, in terms of the high, uh, uh, the well-known traffic uh, real estate sites because now your tool is going to be up there and you're going to be able to 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 dominate it right you're going it's going to be up there and you're going to be able to say oh yeah let's 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 get the traffic off of Zillow off of Truly and drive it back to me right um, you will be on YouTube you'll be on YouTube whether you have your own channel or not okay your listing is going to be on YouTube not a great place for lead generation but it is a great place for you to tell a seller that your listing will be on YouTube. It's good for SEO. It gets found on the Google search, right? But you cannot capture leads. It's, it's next to impossible to do that. Single property website, if you want to share those things, by all means, I do recommend places like Pinterest and Google, and certainly Facebook and Twitter, uh, so you can do that. Then we talked about these tools over here, the e-flyers. You can see why they would generate buyers. You can see why they would get referrals. The automation is there for you to use. So use it. And then over here, this is a weird little button, um, but it is for advanced, I'm gonna click on it. And this is for, this is kind of a squeeze page to capture leads on a particular home. Now, some of our clients are using this on Facebook as well, and they're getting leads from it. And it's kind of like, you wanna see this home, it's for sale, just listed, contact me. So mix it up with whatever you're doing in any advertising mix it up use different sorts of tools because it doesn't make you look like the same person over and over and over um, i'm going to kind of jump into some of the other tools just so you know what they are and and uh, but i do want you to concentrate on the tools that i've described up to now okay so we do have a qr code and the qr code drives to the mobile property website for every property um, and so you can print that and you can put it on a sign or you can put it on a postcard, things like that. We uh, create a WordPress blog for your office and we upload a blog post for every one of your listing. Okay, you don't have to do anything, it just happened. So we're uh, same, similar for YouTube. Also, we've got Craigslist. Now Craigslist was huge for real estate for about five years until about October of last year. And however, it's it and it changed dramatically so it's really filling a wrench at the real estate space however and, and so what happens is a lot of real estate agents are gone it's way more complicated for a consumer to get to you but the consumers that get to you are, tend to be more serious so our clients still post to craigslist 
Um, and they tell us there are far fewer leads, but much higher conversion of the lead. They're more serious when they come to you. So to see how to use our tool, you can watch this little video here. This is the actual tool and you kind of click on it and you drag it up to your browser and you drop it in the bookmark bar and then all your listings will be there and you kind of drag them and drop them into Craigslist. To see how all that works, click here to see how it works, okay? So those are the tools. We concentrated on how to get buyer leads, how to get seller leads, and how to get referrals. We talked a little bit about Craigslist. The WordPress, Craigslist, and YouTube, uh, you know, those, those are there if you want to do them. You don't have to do them. But definitely, if you want to get exposure, you want to market those homes and get in front of a ton of people, use these tools that we've been uh, focusing on today, okay? So I think that's kind of the message. Um, I will kind of go a little bit into support. So you can contact support here in any of your accounts and you can actually ask them questions and they'll get right back to you. The tutorials are here to also help you. And um, as we, we did look at that Facebook piece, I will be uploading this to YouTube, this recording of this call and sending it back to the managers and ideally you can look at it. Um, and then they also have the invite to this call about how one of you know our clients are generating leads on Facebook. We've talked about it today, um, but I think you gotta see this a few times to really understand what we're talking about and how to do it. Um, the thing about listings to leads, there's a lot of companies that do marketing, right? You could talk to, I don't know, Circle Picks and Real Birds and, 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 and e-property sites and just the list just doesn't stop. And the, the big difference of what we do is we definitely focus on lead generation, okay? And so when you're looking at our stuff, you may see virtual tours, you may have virtual tours from other companies. They don't generate leads. They look great, but they just don't generate leads. So the big difference for us, and when you're looking at companies talking about you know advertising and generating leads, our tools work if you use them. If they sit in your mailbox, you can imagine they're not going to do a whole lot. But if you take them and use them and share them and get them out, you're going to get people interacting with you. And that's what you're after, and that's what we're here to help. So I'm going to open it up for questions, and then I'm going to wrap it up. So, Rob, anything over there on your side? Yeah, and we, yes, we can set those passwords up. And so, Rob, I'll, I'll talk to you. We haven't set them up yet because we were doing a lot of the setup. Uh, a lot of things have to be sort of connected in the accounts and things like that. So until all that was done, we, we really waited. We wanted to show this to you, but, but yeah, you can get passwords. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. So how, how long is, will it be before we can start working? Well, we're, uh, we're Wednesday. Uh, let's, if the IDF is cleared by Monday from Garden State, so I'm going to spoke to uh, Stan this morning and outside again. Uh, you could be you could be cooking next week by then. I, I have a, another question. Um, for purposes of meeting with a homeowner and in a competitive listing situation one on one, are there marketing tools that we can use with legally to show a homeowner yes. in a meeting? Yes. And they in sort of communication approach. Yeah, thank you for that question. And I'm gonna repeat it because you know we're recording, so I wanna make sure everybody hears this question, okay? Um, and I'm going to mute it so that and I'll, I'll open it right back up after I answer this question. So what do you do when you're competing for a listing, right? In, in your, first of all, um, I'm going to send you a listing presentation. It's a very simple PowerPoint presentation with large graphics. You don't have to read a lot. It just says, hey, we've got Craigslist, we've got YouTube, we've got mobile, we've got all these things that I've shown you. And I'm going to send that to you. I, I might have already sent it uh, to Rob and, and Scott. 
Uh, and, and, and that's one piece. The other piece is actually right here next to your listing. So if you're in that, in that, if you're going to a listing presentation, I recommend that you log into your account and you, and at the top on the listings page, there's a button where you can create a listing and, it'll, and you can just check and say, this is just for a listing presentation. And it gives you all these tools to the right and you can just put in the address and the bedrooms and you can maybe go drive out front and take one picture of it and put that in there and just say, this is what, you know, kind of the thing we're going to do. And then of course you could, you could show them some of these tools once you've done that. But here, over here, you notice that these addresses are underlined. Um, when you click on this, this is actually a PDF that you can generate. Right here it says generate PDF. And it's a marketing checklist. And it says, what are we going to do to sell your home? Well, we're going to take great pictures and write a great description. We're going to market it just listed with all of these tools. Right? And they can see this because you're going to walk them right through it. And then we're going to market the open house this way with flyers and e-flyers and Facebook and fan pages and this and that. We're going to go to Craigslist. We're going to work on virtual tours. So there's just a big long list. When you print this, this is something like three pages long of just your checklist of how, this is how we're gonna market your home, okay? So this is a great tool in combination with the listing presentation, and I'll resend it to the managers and they'll share it with you. And then of course, if the listing is in here like this, you could show them some of the online tools, okay? I, I think that, uh, I hope that helps. Actually, I, we work with Coldwell Banker Schmidt, um, and I train their offices over and over on that listing presentation because they've come back and said listen we win every presentation we're on with this with this listing presentation and when you get it it's a pretty simple document but the fact is we cover all of the top sites in the internet right if you look at the top 10 sites we're on five of them if you look at the top three sites in real estate that you're thinking of we're there and you're there because you're with Coldwell Banker so you've got an incredible story to tell and then also say, by the way, the competitor that you're talking to, can they actually get buyers? Do their tools generate leads? Because look, I've got multiple ones driving ways back to me. Because in the end, your client, that seller, doesn't want you to market their home. They want you to sell their home. And to sell that home, you need buyers, not branding and impressions. Okay? And that's really what Listings to Leads is about. You, and our system doesn't talk about Listings to Leads. It talks about the tools that you bring to that client to help them sell their home. So I'll make sure you have those tools, but definitely create a listing on the listings page and you'll have that checklist for every property. Thank you for that question. I did, and that's that's a good. Yeah, right here when you log in, and let's say you're holding an open house for another agent, right? And that's what you're describing. It's not your listing; it's another agent's listing. You can go right into your listings page and create the listing, or and and kind of grab some photos and put it in, and it's just kind of a shell of a listing. It's the basic information. You can probably get it from the MLS. And you put it in, and once you do that, you go down to the uh, to the edit listing here, and you put the open house in it, okay? And that open house will automatically send you those tools. So let me go look and see if I even have those. I know we set up an open house earlier, and unfortunately I had a ton of spam, and, and I don't know where that is. But yeah, the short answer is enter it inside your listings page, set the open house under this button right here which says edit enhance listing, and I'll point it out again, and all those tools will show up in your mailbox. The, the open house is right here. Um, and then the leads that you capture are going to you, okay? But if you're doing an open house for someone, you can actually create the 
That is correct. That is correct. And um, yeah, and let's see if I can show you. Um, Oh, we don't have it set up. Okay, I can't set up a virtual tour there. But yeah, the tools are all available. They'll get emailed to you, and that's how you do it. Any any other questions there? I just have one more. Um, are there any tablets or tools for properties that have closed where you might want to send out yes. sort of a post or remember when, a year ago, something like that? Uh, you mean like follow up to a client after you have sold it? More, more like a soft um, post, you know, for maybe times when it is the slowest time of year and you want to send out a tool that you might want to send out and say, hey, this house closed a year ago, look at it now, or something like that. Yeah. Um, I, I don't, you know, there, there are some things that are, um, like you can you can change this to sold, right? And and let's click this just sold. So you can change the status here to just sold. And and the question was for everybody that on the recording is what can I do to reach back and and kind of do a soft touch and, and reach back and kind of bring information back to those people. You might have you might be able to use something like this and kind of change the wording in it, right? There, there's also inside this account a market report. We didn't get into it today, but I think the market report might be something that you're interested in because a market report is a real estate marketing report, right? Now I know you have them, I'm sure, available from Cobalt Bank or somewhere, but inside this system, up on your listings page, there is a place where you can create and manage a marketing report. And that marketing report in the format looks a lot like this page. It's got your contact information, you can share it on social networks, it's got your lead capture links on the left, but it scrolls through properties. And you could say, hey, if you wanna uh, maybe do a market report on some of the, the top homes that sold last year in Summit, New Jersey, you could actually do that. Um, but you can, you can create market reports every month and some people do that and say, hey, you know, I know we spoke and you might be able to use the market report basically to do a little more of that creative concept that you've got there. I, I hope that makes sense. But in terms of like having, I, I think that's it. We don't have something pre-built because I actually am not sure exactly what you're doing or, or hoping for, but there's a lot you can do with this kind of market report that would look something like this because you can obviously change the content at the bottom uh, to reach out to to number a number of people. I, I can hear. Yeah, I can take that question. What is? I did, couldn't hear it though. Okay, so the, the question was: is, is what can they do before they get a username and password to grab? So Facebook uh, business page, that kind of thing. Yeah. Right. So um, you need a business page on Facebook, okay? Um, and I'm going to show you how to create one. I actually have a video. And I'll send you the video after this call. Um, and let's, but I'm going to just show you, okay? If you've got a personal page on Facebook, you cannot use Facebook advertising for uh, on that personal page. You have to have a business page. You also have to have, I don't know what the number is, something like uh, 25 people like that page, okay? So, how do you get the page in the first place? First of all, when you log in, you kind of, that, that's our, our, our listing to leads page. So, your page sort of looks like this, right? You look like this. And over here, on the right, is a little upside down button. It's a blue button, and there is a thing that says create page. So, click that, and now this is where you create your business page. 
all right? And what you're looking to create is on the top left, a local business. You choose your category of real estate. It's an option. And this is really important. This is important for everything that you do on the internet, but it is definitely important here. When you're naming your page, don't name it your name sells real estate.com because people won't find you that way. You're looking for people. The Facebook is it's it's like the internet in that people will go and search for Summit, right? They are in Summit, so they'll probably look for Summit or whatever town where you're building your business, right? Maybe it's New Jersey. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm just going to call this, and I'm not going to finish it, but uh, Summit Rug Luxury Real Estate, right? Um, and uh, real. I got to know how to type. <laughs> Sorry. So, so whatever you want to do, you want the geographical term in there, right? If it's Tri Cities or or Plymouth County or whatever it is, it's got to be that. It's not supposed to be you. Now, as soon as you get to the page, you can put your logo and you can put your picture all over the place. But that line right there is what people search on, okay? And they're not looking for you because they may not know you. And so that's that's like when you're creating that page, do that. The rest of it is just, you know, office address and then you click get started and it takes you to your business page. OK, now I'm going to point this out because I really hate to see real estate agents paying people to build their business page, to build that page that I just showed you that just to get the page live would have taken you a minute or two to fill that out, to put in the address. Right now. There's a little place when you click here, it says change cover. Your cover, when you get your page for the first time, this big blue thing that we have for listings to leads is gray. And there's a button that says upload cover. Get a picture of your market. Get Maybe you want a banner from your office. Who knows? Um, over here on the left could be your picture. It could be your logo. You can click on it and change it. You need that. Um, and then right over here is a little place where it says um, likes and you need 25 people to like your page before Facebook gives you the ability to advertise okay it's just so they know you're not a spammer so just invite your friends and your colleagues to like your page and boom there you go now I'll just show you really quickly a little bit of what it looks like I did mention earlier there's a Facebook uh, how, how to but this boost post is really what we're talking it this is a derivative or part of the marketing right and this is saying what's my maximum budget and how many people will i reach i really recommend that you just focus on if your page is in summit focus on the summit zip code okay and then it tells you um how many days and do you want click throughs there's more in that in that deeper facebook deal but this is what we're le we're looking for the ability to drive on zip code in Facebook is really awesome. I mean, it, that's you're in a business where you're building a business in zip code, and that's and that's what it is. You might be working in multiple zip codes. I'm not sure, but that's that's kind of it there. So I think that's kind of as much as I can give you. I do know that when you log in, you're going to see all kinds of stuff. We've got a call on Thursday on the tutorial page. There's more about how Facebook works, but that's what I would do. I'd get that page set. Um, if you don't have uh, YouTube or Google Plus or, or Gmail, I would recommend that as well because there are some benefits for all of you in that. Any any uh, more questions over there, Rob? Are we going to use that website? Are you going to? I, I'm sorry, what, what's the question again? I don't understand that. So, uh, our personal websites, are we going to use them in some way as landing pages or something, or it doesn't matter? Uh, you can't. You, you, it, it doesn't matter. The way we're going to design it is those, you see these links here? They're going to drive off to the to the office website, 
and they're going to capture leads on the office website. If you want to switch those links to your website, you can. But everything else is not really related to your website. It, it doesn't matter if you have a website or not. Everything is designed to benefit you and capture leads without it. Does that answer your question? Uh huh. Yes. Are you set up to accommodate teams in any way, any e special way? Yes. If you if you have a team, um, I'm, I think I'll just answer it in short that yes. If you have a team, email me and I'll show you how to set that up. Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, we'll look at the uh, I'm sure we'll look at this webinar again and then dig into some of the other structural stuff and then uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll be taking some stuff live by Monday. Awesome. Okay. Thanks everybody for your time. I'll get this uploaded and we'll uh, we'll keep the ball moving.